Do you feel lucky to have such an awesome mom? Good morning, YouTube. What's up, guys? Today is Saturday, and as promised, I will be doing an Ask Me Anything video because we hit 500 subscribers! Woo! Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do an Ask Me Anything video, but first I'm gonna go for a run. And another fun thing that I'm gonna do, yeah, okay, yes, this Christmas tree, it's coming down this week, don't worry. We're not like those people that leave up their Christmas decorations all year round. Anywho, uh, another fun thing that I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna wear any shoe that I want. These probably wouldn't be the best option. But we got a couple different options here. I'm not complaining about it being warm, but it should not be this warm. It's January 11th, so. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to run? Wow, is this your attempt at being more uh, enthusiastic? <laughs> So I'm going to answer all of your questions right now. I'm just going to go down the list to answer as many as I can and hopefully that's good enough. So the first question is what do you enjoy about running in general and how did I get into it? So hmm, what do I enjoy about running in general? I would say that I'm a person who has a lot of anxieties and when I'm running it kind of clears my mind of those helps me to think things through a little bit better. It's kind of like my therapy session if that makes any sense. And I got into running through triathlon, actually. Uh, my dad, my friend Kate and I signed up for a relay triathlon back in 2012. And I was gonna do the bike portion, Kate was gonna do the running portion. And um, I trained with Kate a little bit for the run portion just to see like if I could run at all. And I actually fell in love with it. And after a couple years in triathlon, I just transitioned to running. What made you decide to start running? I love your channel. My channel loves you. Hey Kate, I started running because of you literally and uh, together we've built a beautiful running journey. You're my queen. My next question is, have I ever had any ankle injuries? And honestly, I haven't had any ankle injuries, but according to many people on this channel, my ankles are really weak. So maybe I should start doing some strength exercises. How many pairs of running shoes do you own and which shoes for what training? Oh boy. How many pairs of running shoes would you say that I have? Probably like a lot. And that's not even all of them. <sighs> okay, so we just counted only some of the shoes and I have about 15 up there on my shoe rack and I have about a whole entire box. I'm gonna say I have around 25 to 30 pairs of running shoes. But what shoes right now do I use for what training? Um, so I would say for my longer, slower miles right now, I'm wearing the New Balance 1080 V10 and the Asics Gel Nimbus 22. Those are kind of like my main workhorses um, for testing and kind of like those mid miles, like six mile range. I'm wearing the Skechers Go Run Ride 8 at the moment. For a shoe that I want to use on the treadmill or for days that I want to do a tempo run, pick up the pace, that sort of thing, I've been using the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. 
I also race in the Nike Vaporfly Next Percents. So those are the main shoes that I'm using and everything else needs to be donated or I need to start testing out. So uh, it's a lot, it's a lot of shoes. Can you give me some tips on how to build a training plan? I can only run three times per week. So it's actually interesting because of my work schedule, which will be the next question, um, I can really only run three to four times a week. So it depends really what you're training for. Um, but I would say if you're training for a half marathon, and I'm not a coach, so full disclaimer here, I am not a trained coach. I am just an average Joe, Jane, I don't know, but oh. I would say if you have only three times to run a week, I would do a long run on the weekend or whatever day you have off. I would do one tempo run that's maybe about five miles and then one easy run of really any distance of your choice. I wouldn't really make it more than five miles. That's just how it works for me and I haven't really had any problems. Of course, if you can get an extra run in there, here and there for four times a week, you can maybe do like another tempo or fartlek run or something like that. but. I don't know. I think you can definitely have a solid training schedule on three times per week. Also something that really helped me throughout my recent training cycles is treadmill interval workouts where I do like half a mile at easy pace, half a mile at race pace and so on and so forth for a couple miles. And then at the end I try to do like an interval that's even faster than my usual race pace just to kind of give myself a little bit of a nudge forward to kind of move faster. Next question, what do I do for work? All right, so I am a news producer in New York City for a major network. I work in a department there. Um, I work nights, so that's why I can do a lot of my uh, runs during the day and you see kind of like a lot of morning runs when most people are at work. I am getting ready for work and then I work from 3 to 11. So it actually kind of works out nice with my running schedule right now. I've gotten into a nice flow and a routine. So I kind of like those hours. Heller versus Jamie, one mile, loser gives up their ASICS gels, you game or nah? I'm game, are you game is the question. I know you don't want to give up those ASICS gels, Jamie. I know that's your prized possession, so you better, you better be careful with that offer. Heller versus Jamie 2020? It's a thing, it's happening, stay tuned. This is not a question, but this is a comment and this is the coolest thing I've ever read. This person said, I wanna just say you are in my top five American running channels with Jameson, Kofuzi, Seth, and Believe in the Run. What? That is the coolest thing I have ever read because those are all of the guys who inspired me to make this channel. I have been watching Jamie for years. Shout out, Jamie. I have been watching Seth for about a year, a little over a year now. I've been watching Believe in the Run. I was reading Believe in the Run's blog, uh, their website, before I started watching their videos. I've been reading their stuff for years. And Kofuzi, I've also been watching for at least a year now. And those are literally like my inspiration and to be placed in a category to anyone, like with them, that made no sense. To be placed in a category with them to somebody is the coolest thing ever. I am so stoked on that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. When I read that, it made my day. You are awesome. What are your race PRs and any race plans for 2020? So I gotta be honest with you, I really don't keep track of my race PRs, which is pathetic, I know. I can tell you like a general sort of uh, realm. So my Half marathon PR I know because I just had it like a couple, like a month ago, and it was 141.40, and that was great. Uh, my marathon PR is 419 something, and uh, my 5K PR is like, oh God, I don't know, it's like 21 something. Again, I'm, I was never a cross country or track and field athlete, so I don't have like a 16 minute 5K PR, but these are pretty good for me, so I'll take it. What's my 10K PR? I do have some race plans for 2020. Um, right now, actually I have a 10 mile race next weekend that I'm hoping to PR, but I don't know, I'm kind of just winging it since I took a lot of time off this past week. Uh, so 
we'll see how it goes. Uh, so that's the first race of 2020. And then um, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing in between this chunk of time. Probably I'll race some other stuff, but I'm actually doing the Chicago Marathon in October and I really want to PR that. I want to have a three in front of my time. So I want it to be three something something. What do I think about when I run? Oh boy, what don't I think about when I run? I think about a lot of stuff. I think about work, I think about running, just my PRs, my goals, all that kind of stuff. I. A lot of times we'll be listening to music and I'll be thinking about that, I guess, or a podcast, like I'll listen to like the morning shakeout or um, runners of New York City. Those are all things that I kind of do and listen to when I run. So I kind of spiral off of those things that are going on in my head. That makes no sense, but uh, I think about literally everything and it's a huge stress reliever for me. How can someone who hates running learn to like it or even just get started? So, um, this is tricky, I guess, to answer for me, but I would say before I started running, I thought that I hated running. And uh, when I actually started to run in 2012, I kind of realized that I didn't actually hate it. I, I just thought that I hated it. So, my best advice to getting started is to set a goal and try to achieve that goal. Like if it's running first, just run a half mile. So work your way up to that and then work your way up to a mile. And then eventually you can work your way up to a like 5k or something like that. And you can sign up for like a local race and make that the goal. And I think if it's goal oriented, it becomes a lot more fun than just running to burn calories or just running because you feel like it's a good exercise. If you give yourself something to look forward to, it becomes a lot more rewarding. I've never personally tried this, but I know a lot of people who have and now have ran marathons. Uh, if you download the From Couch to 5K app, I've heard that's a really good way to start. Adidas Solar Glide ST review, please. Well, it's funny you say that. I actually have a pair of these and I have not ran them yet and they are a little too big and I get a little bit of heel slipping just from standing and walking around in them. So I've been considering reviewing this. Uh, but I'm also not too sure it'll be super positive. So um, not that that matters, but it's just something I'm, I'm on the fence about it. Maybe, I'll give you a maybe. Here's a good one. What are your thoughts on buying shoes from discount stores like Marshalls, Ross, etc.? cetera? Um, I don't know how popular this is, but I do it, especially when I know the shoe already. I say do it. I love a deal. So if you can find those shoes at a discount store like that, then absolutely go for it, buy it. You don't need to have $250 shoes to be a runner. All right, next question. What running shoe slash shoes are you looking forward to this 2020? Oh boy, there's a lot of them. I'm looking forward to a lot of Skechers in 2020. I'm looking forward to the Razor 3 Plus, I think it's called, um, the Go Run 7 Plus. I'm looking forward to um, those two shoes specifically. I'm looking forward to the Saucony Endorphin series. I think that's gonna be really cool. Next question, so other than running, what do you do for fun either alone or with your girlfriend? So, what do I do for fun? What do we do for fun? <laughs> Going to restaurants, eating, chilling on the couch. I never get to chill on the couch, never ever. So when I can sit on the couch and watch Netflix and chill, not like that guys. But if I can literally do those things, then I I'm golden. I don't need to do anything else. We like to drink beer, go to breweries with our friends. I like to read. And you know, actually I do kind of have an interest in fashion. Um, when I'm not wearing running clothes, so that's another thing. And I really am into lifestyle sneakers also. What will I do when I hit 10,000 subscribers? I'll have a party! If you could run anywhere in the world, where would you like to run? Hmm, that's a good one. I'd love to run in Australia. I think that would be really cool. New Zealand. I recently ran in Monterey, California, which was kind of like a bucket list place to run. So that's checked off. And this is cliche, but Boston, of course. <laughs> Here's a good one. Do you judge runners if they have these shoes on? No, 
because there are plenty of runners who have had shoes on who have kicked my butt. Is there a marathon race you'd like to do in the future outside of New York? Yes, Chicago, Boston, I'd like to do London, the London Marathon, maybe Berlin. There's a lot of races outside of New York that I definitely want to do that I just have not had a chance to yet, but starting this year, Chicago, baby, we there. Will you do a triathlon in 2020? I'm gonna say probably not. And I kind of got away from triathlon because I really hate swimming and I dislike training tremendously for the swim portion. Um, but I do still really like cycling, although I haven't done it in a long time. Will I ever do a Ironman? I'd like to do one as like a bucket list thing to do. Um, I've done a half, but I don't think I'll be doing a triathlon in 2020, honestly. What's the hardest course you've ever raced? That's an easy one. That would be the New York City Marathon. What do I worry about before a race? How do you deal with those worries? That's a good question. Ugh. Um, I have a lot of anxiety, like I already said. I'm a huge worry wart. So I worry about, mm, I don't know, pretty much everything. I worry about if I'm gonna feel tired, if I'm gonna feel dehydrated, if I'm gonna have enough nutrition, if I'm gonna bonk, if I'm gonna have a good day, a bad day. You name it, I'm worrying about it. I pretend that I'm not worrying. So uh, I really try to get out of my head and just say to myself like, okay, like it's gonna be fine. Today is just another day, it's just another race, it's just like a training run. It's kind of like a psychological game that I play in my head to kind of keep me calm and just say like, hey, whatever it is, it is. I try not to put too much pressure on myself the day of the race because that's when I start to freak out and that's when things start to go south. So as long as I take the like crazy must have a PR, like all that psychotic aspect out of it on that day, then I usually can have a good race. Weather gets crazy here on Long Island. What do you do for the crazy winters? Um, well, I just bundle the hell up, honestly. I wear a tank top, a t-shirt, a long sleeve, a jacket, all for one race. I wear something to cover my ears. I um, actually have a really good hack. Instead of mittens and instead of gloves, I wear long like socks on my hands, <laughs> which I learned from my dad. And it actually like is really nice because I still can get a good grip on things because it's not like a mitten where it's so thick you can barely like hold anything. Um, and it keeps your fingers together and warm whereas a glove separates them. And I've gotten like literally frostbite wearing gloves. So the sock method has worked for me. Regardless of how cold it is, I do try to get outdoors because I just like that better. A treadmill is so repetitive and boring to me. So I try to stay off of it as much as I can unless I have a specific tempo run that I wanna do. Congrats on 500, thank you. Can you talk about your weekly running routine, stretches, and daily goals? Yeah, so I don't have like a very specific running routine throughout the week, but I try to run at, at least three, hopefully four times a week. Um, and I try to do like a long run on the weekends. I try to do like a couple tempo runs during the week, maybe like two of those. And then like an easier, kind of more simple run on um, one of those days during the week uh, when I'm like running out of time. Honestly, my goal for the week while I'm training is just to get out there because I get home super late from work and when I wake up, I'm t exhausted. So there's times where I just don't wanna run. So the goal really every day is to get out there and do something. So if I achieve that, then I just feel good and better about myself. Stretching, <laughs> my friends will tell you that I don't really do much of it and I definitely should. So I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know a lot about stretching because I don't really do that much of it. I'll try to stretch my quads a little, my hamstrings, uh, the glutes, you know, that kind of thing, but I'm not a huge stretcher. Next question is, would you ever review other running gear besides shoes? Yeah, I would, and I probably will. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. If I couldn't run as an exercise, what is my second favorite exercise? That would definitely be cycling. Do I track workouts? Yes, I do on my Garmin watch, and I also upload it to Strava. And you can follow me on Strava. I will have my information at the end of this video, so. Follow me there. How do you drag yourself out of bed when you're hungover? 
Ugh. Um, have a lot of Gatorade in your refrigerator. That is extremely helpful. I just get up and chug one of those like mini bottles and then I cry for a while and shiver and, and, and sorrow and then I just launch myself out of bed and uh, I just go for a run. Do you feel lucky to have such an awesome mom? <laughs> I do. Ever dealt with a major injury that required four to eight weeks off? I have not actually, thankfully. Um, I've definitely had little aches and pains and pulls that have required me to have like one to two weeks off. Um, but I have never had an injury that has been serious enough to take like four to eight weeks off. My advice to you if you are experiencing that is to listen to your body and listen to whatever professional is telling you to take that time off because it's only going to benefit you in the long run. So just take the time off and get back when you can. What is your main motivation to actually get outside running? Uh, my main motivation is that I know it'll just make me a better runner and that's great incentive as it is. It's going to benefit my overall health and fitness. That is definitely another thing that I think about. And I just feel better that day when I run. I don't feel as sluggish. I don't feel as anxious. I feel kind of more at peace with my mind and I feel better about myself for getting out and doing something. Are you going to show some love to on? Sure, if they send me a shooter review. Does your running warehouse discount code still work? Yes, it does. And in fact, I use it all the time <laughs> for myself. So I know for a fact that it does work. So guys, I think that's all the questions. I, I answered them all. If there's something that was not asked that you are still curious about, please let me know in the comments down below and I will try to answer as many of them as I can. Thank you again for 500 subscribers. I know I keep saying it, but I can't believe it. I, I really can't. I literally thought I would just have five subscribers and now I have 500 and it's insane. And it's only continuing to grow and we're gonna keep doing what we're doing here and hopefully you guys continue to enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and subscribe. And when you're done with that, please hit that notification bell down below so you can find out every time I upload a new video. I have another video coming next week, but in the meantime, guys, get out there get on the grind, and don't forget to run like heller. See you next time.